What is up, YouTube? Back in Madden 23, today we're going to be doing a Mike White New York Jets five year rebuild. What if Mike White was a starting quarterback for the next five years? He came in this past week, did pretty good, led him to a win over the Chicago Bears, threw three touchdown passes, played a lot better than Zach Wilson, that's for sure. Who knows what's going to happen in real life, but we're going to pretend that the Jets move on from Zach Wilson. After the end of the season, we're going to trade him away. We're going to roll with Mike White. I did upgrade him to a 72 overall. They had him as like a 56 overall, so he was pretty low rated. Zach Wilson is also a 72 on here already. He has star dev, but I just left Mike White with normal dev for now. He's 27 years old, so he's not going to have a lot of room to improve unless he has like an MVP type year. I ended up having to upgrade his throw power. It was only at like an 83, which is really freaking low. So I bumped him up to a 91. I increased his accuracies up to like the mid 80s on the medium accuracy, the short accuracy, and I boosted his awareness up to 73 because he's 27 years old, so he should have at least have some awareness. He's been in the NFL since 2017, so should have learned at least like some stuff, you know what I mean? He was drafted in the fifth round in 2017 by the Dallas Cowboys. Never played in his entire life until last year whenever he actually got some playing time. Let's see what he did real quick. So he had 953 yards, five touchdowns, eight interceptions, 66% completion. He had a 75 rating. Well, this year I put him in as a starter just for the Chicago Bears game and then I forced a win on it because they beat the Bears. He threw 200 yards, two touchdowns, one interception with a 102 rating, 71% completion, so I actually did pretty good. We also have James Robinson at running back that the Jets traded for from the Jaguars. We got Garrett Wilson, the rookie receiver at wide receiver one with hidden dev. The offensive line has two guys that are injured, I believe, that are missing right now, so they're going to be getting better. Defensive line, I moved John Franklin Myers over to defensive tackle to make room for Johnson to play defensive end. And I'm also starting Ashton Davis over the Marcus Joyner at free safety. And we got Sauce Gardner, the rookie corner. He's already up to 86 overall. Madden is freaking crazy. Those are rookies having an amazing year. I simulated to the end of the regular season and we finished 9-8. and eight, And unfortunately, we did not make the playoffs. We ended up having a ton of injuries. It seemed like each week as I was going, week by week, there was just more people getting injured and injured. We ended up losing James Robinson to an ACL's hair. Brees Hall was already out. Uh, we lost Elijah Vera Tucker. We lost the tight end. We lost Makai Beckton before we even started. And also Connor McGovern in the center. Braxton Berrios got hurt. George Fant got hurt. Like the entire offensive line was just injured. All of our running backs were hurt. Just not looking good. The Bills ended up winning the division with a 14-3 and record. The Patriots went 10-7 and and the Dolphins went 9-8. and So the entire division was just really competitive. Check out the stats on the year. We had the 18th ranked offense. And defensively, we were ranked number 15. Mike White had the most passing yards, 1,840, through 11 touchdowns, eight interceptions. That's not a good touchdown to interception ratio. 62% completion was the best on the team. He did have an 89 rating, which was also the best on the team. So I guess, technically speaking, he was the best quarterback on the team for the, the year. James Robinson had 700 yards, 4.6 per carry with six touchdowns. Michael Carter, 600 yards, 3.7 per carry with 9 touchdowns. Brees Hall, 400 yards, 5.8 per carry, 4 touchdowns. That's a high average yards per carry. Rookie receiver Garrett Wilson led the team with 1,000 yards and 5 touchdowns. Elijah Moore had 700 yards, 4 touchdowns. Corey Davis, 700 yards, 3 touchdowns. Tight end Tyler Conklin, 600 yards, 5 touchdowns. Defensively, C.J. Mosley led the team in tackles with 161. John Franklin Myers and Quentin Williams had the most TFLs with 11 and 10 sacks. Quentin Williams had 16 sacks from the defensive tackle spot. It's freaking insane. Carl Lawson had 8.5. John Franklin Myers had 7. The rookie Jermaine Johnson had 5.5. And, and Bryce Huff had 5. Jordan Whitehead led the team in interceptions with 3, along with Sauce Gardner and Lamarcus Joyner. DJ Reed had 2 interceptions. Michael Carter had 2. And Ashton Davis had 1. 49ers ended up winning the Super Bowl 43-31 to over the Buffalo Bills to win their sixth ever Super Bowl and wide receiver T.Y. Hilton won Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes won MVP of the regular season with the Chiefs. Mike McCarthy won Coach of the Year with the Cowboys. Joe Mixon won Offensive Player of the Year with the Bengals. Von Miller won Defensive Player of the Year with the Bills. Kenneth Walker won Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Seahawks and George McCrary won Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Titans. 
We had three players retire. We got Mike Rimmers, the right tackle, retiring after 11 years. Dwayne Brown, the left tackle, retiring after 15 years. And then Joe Flacco, the quarterback, retiring after 15 years as well. Checking out the players that we can re-sign. James Robinson, I'm not going to bring him back. I mean, we already have uh, Brees Hall and we have Michael Carter at running back, so we really don't need him. I know they traded for him in the middle of the season, but I'm pretty sure it's because they had a bunch of injured running backs, so... No point in bringing him back. Also, the Marcus Joyner moving on from him. He's 32 years old. He's down to the 76. We got Ashton Davis to replace him. Connor McGovern, I will try to bring him back if I can. He wants two years, almost 13 mil. He's coming back. Greg Zerline moving on from him. Sheldon Rankins, we don't need him. George Fant, he's 31 years old. Let's we'll see if we can upgrade him. We don't need Bryce up since we got Johnson, the rookie pretty much don't need any of these other guys we do need to bring mike white back obviously since this is a rebuild focus on him he's already down to the 69 overall so we're gonna have to try to figure something out about that he's coming back since mike white is uh, all the way down to 69 already i'm gonna go back in here and bump him back up to a 72 overall like i had him before try to keep this like somewhat interesting He's going to push up a couple of things. Right, now we've got him up to 72. This is what the team is looking like before free agency. We've got Brees Hall back and Michael Carter. Garrett Wilson's an 82 with star. So we got Corey Davis and Elijah Moore. The offensive line is actually not that bad. We still have Vera Tucker at right guard and Makai Becton at right tackle. They're both injured, so all we need is a left tackle on the offensive line. Defensively, really the only thing that we need is a couple of outside linebackers and maybe try to upgrade safety position. But the defensive line looks like it's going to be freaking nasty. Sauce Gardner's got superstar devs. Good to see. We got three corners that are pretty good, so mostly just focusing on outside linebackers. I'm going to switch the offensive scheme and playbook to multiple zone run. The Bengals have a multiple zone run scheme, so I want to use their playbook. That's why I'm switching to it before we're running a West Coast zone. But the Bengals offense always does crazy and Madden simulations, so I want to try them out. Didn't really need a whole lot of free agency, but I'm getting us a new kicker. We also get a uh, Melba Negrum to play outside linebacker along with Anthony Barr. And then George Fant at right tackle was the best guy that I could get to actually sign to the team. I was able to trade Zach Wilson to the Atlanta Falcons for a second round pick. 15th pick in the first round, I'm going to draft this tight end Marco Oliver from Wisconsin. He's 6'4", 247 pounds. He's a vertical threat. 23 years old but he looks like a freaking freak athlete he has elite acceleration great agility elite change of direction great jumping with elite speed hit him dead with 88 speed here in the second round i think we're gonna get a pretty good steal right here with this right tackle ezekiel mclean from california 6'6 310 pounds agile scheme fit only having 50% scouted, but look at his physical traits. He has elite and everything except for great speed and great strength. He's a freak athlete. He's got hit in dead with 89 strength. I'm going to draft this wide receiver, James Alonzo from LSU. He's 6'5", 231 pounds, so he's basically like a tight end playing wide receiver. He's a physical scheme fit. 22 years old. He has elite jumping with decent speed and great strength. He's got hidden dev again, 87 speed with 94 jumping. Third round, I'm going to draft this right guard, Richard Pierman from LSU. He's 6'3", 323 pounds, agile scheme fit, got him 65% scoutage, 23 years old. Looks like a good athlete, he has good acceleration, great agility, great change of direction with good jumping. He's got hidden dev as well, just every player is freaking got hidden dev, it's awesome. Here in the fourth round, I'm going to draft this outside linebacker, Nick Hendricks from Texas A&M. He's 6'243 pounds. He's a run stopper. 22 years old. He has good speed with good strength, good change of direction. He has good speed with good strength, good change of direction. No more dev, 82 speed. In the fifth round, this left guard, DJ Benedict, has the potential to have A in a lot of things. He's from Wisconsin. He's 6'2", 318 pounds, uh, agile scheme fit. I know we already drafted two offensive linemen, but can't pass up the potential. He's 21 years old. He has a good, a great acceleration, good change of direction, good speed. Normal dev, 84 strength. Here in the sixth round, this is the last draft pick that we have. I'm going to draft this punter, Nate Gilmore from Ball State. I mean, he's just a punter, so just taking a chance. He's got hit in dev. 
87 kick power is pretty low though. Checking out the draft recap, our tight end we drafted in the first round is a 75 overall. We did see that he has hidden div and he had 88 speed. Insane for a tight end. Right tackle drafted in the second round is a 73 overall. He did have hidden div as well if I remember yet. It looks like we just upgraded the offensive line pretty good and the wide receiver I drafted in the second round is a 75 overall with hidden dev as well. He has 87 speed, he's a little bit slower but he's freaking huge. And then the right guard I drafted in the third round is a 73 overall, I think he had hidden dev as well. Yep. And then the other guys I drafted, and they're alright. This guy is a left guard I drafted, 65 overall with normal dev. It'll be a backup for us and then the punter I drafted in the sixth round is a 69 overall. Does have hidden dev. Might end up just making them the starter at punter for us. Check out the entire NFL draft and see what happened over here. Number one pick was a 74 overall outside linebacker. Highest in the whole draft is a wide receiver Tracy Torrance. It was an 81 overall and then a 77 overall wide receiver. This is what the team is looking like for the start of season two. We got Mike White, 72, with uh, normal dev. We got Brees Hall and Michael Carter at running back. Michael Carter is injured right now for one week. Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, and we got Corey Davis. I'm going to end up moving on from Corey Davis and making Alonzo the third receiver. At right tackle, we're going to be starting McLean, the rookies, the 73 with hidden dev. Fans injured right now anyways for 13 more weeks, but... We're going to roll with him regardless. And then at center, we have the other guy drafted. He's just going to be a backup until McGovern's contract is up or maybe until next year. At tight end, we're loaded over here, but I want Oliver to start, obviously. So I'm going to end up moving on from both of these guys. I'll probably just try to trade them away or something to make sure that Oliver starts at tight end. Defensively, we got a sick defensive line here. Brought in Ingram and Barr, outside linebacker. We're going to have to find a replacement for Mosley pretty soon because he's aging fast and regressing quickly. Sauce Gardner is 87 with superstar dev. We got Reed Jr. at cornerback 2 with 82 star. And then Hall is a 79 star dev at cornerback 3. I put wide receiver Corey Davis and tight end Tyler Conklin on the trade block. And the Titans are willing to give me outside linebacker Harold Landry. It'll be an upgrade for us at the linebacker spot, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're not off to a bad start. We're four and three, second in the division. The Bills are five and two. Patriots are three and three, and the Dolphins are three and four. So the players we have to negotiate with here. We got 86 million in cap space. So we're gonna have to do Quentin Williams, Carl Lawson. All right, let's check this out. Quentin Williams for sure want him back. He's actually interested in resigning too. Three years, basically 60 mil. Let's offer that to him. He's coming back. Carl Lawson, he's 28 years old, 82 overall. Uh, I don't know if I want to resign him or not. I'm going to wait till the end of the year. Jordan Whitehead, two years, 12 mil. I want to wait till the end of the year on him as well. Bryce Hall, definitely want to bring him back. Four years, 23 mil, 25 years old. He's not extremely interested, so I'm open up to five years. He's coming back. Ingram was a one-year thing. Ashton Davis, not interested. End of the regular season, we finished seven and 10. Pretty much a bad season all around. Checking out the player stats, we had the 24th ranked offense, so not good at all. Defensively, 25th, so yeah, just bad everywhere. Mike White didn't have a great season. He did, he did throw for 4,500 yards, 29 touchdowns, but 19 interceptions is a ton. 57% completion is terrible. 82 rating is not great at all. Rushing wise, Brees Hall ran for 925 yards, 4.3 per carry with 6 touchdowns. Michael Carter almost 300 yards, 3.6 per carry with 7 touchdowns. Garrett Wilson led the team in receiving yards with 1,032, 6 touchdowns. The rookie receiver Alonzo had 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Elijah Moore, 900 yards, 3 touchdowns. The rookie tight end, 578 yards, 3 touchdowns. Defensively, CJ Mosley led the team in tackles with 126. Quentin Williams had 16 TFLs. Quentin Williams and Landry both had 13 sacks. Franklin Myers had 12 sacks. Johnson had five and a half and Lawson had three and a half. Actually putting up a lot of sacks here. DJ Reed had two interceptions. Anthony Barr had one. Carter had one. Whitehead, Hall, Gardner, Davis, and Maiden all had one interception. The Raiders in the Super Bowl 24 to 21. Defensive tackle Eric Armstead won Super Bowl MVP. Joe Burrow won MVP of the regular season with the Bengals. Doug Peterson won Coach of the Year with the Jaguars. 
T. Higgins won Offensive Player of the Year with the Bengals. Khalil Mack won Defensive Player of the Year with the Chargers. So I think I'm going to move on from Carl Lawson since he's 29 years old. He's going to start regressing. Jordan Whitehead, I'm probably going to move on from him too and see if we can upgrade the strong safety spot. If not, we can always try to bring him back in free agency. Ingram, we're done with him. Ashton Davis is down to normal dev. We're going to be moving on from him for sure. I think that's pretty much going to be it. We're not going to be bringing anybody back. Checking out the team's salaries, and CJ Mosley is 32 years old. He's down to 80 overall. He's on the last year of his deal. He's going to be making $21.5 million this year. I want to go ahead and release him and save $17 million. Can probably get a linebacker that's better than him for less than that. So what the team is looking like before free agency, Mike White is at a 71. The receiver that was a rookie, is only he has star dev. The right tackle has superstar dev, though, so that's good to see. The other guy that we drafted, he had hidden dev, but I guess he lost it. Tight end has star dev. Defensively, we need another middle linebacker. We need an outside linebacker. We need two safeties. And we need another defensive end. On offense, we really don't need anything. We probably just, I think I'm going to switch the playbook again on offense. I'm going to switch it to the Carolina Panthers offense, which goes through the running back. Try to focus on Brees Hall. Try to take some pressure off of Mike White because running that Bengals offense is like a heavy passing offense. And obviously he's not doing good in that offense. So yeah, I'm switching to the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook, which is still a multiple zone run. The same uh, scheme that we were running already. We're just changing the playbook. Defensively, I'm sticking with the Jets defensive playbook. They've been getting a lot of sacks, so I like it. I ended up getting Micah Hyde at free safety. I'm going to end up moving him to strong safety. He's an 85 overall scheme fit. We got CJ Mosley coming back at middle linebacker. He was the best overall available in free agency, and I got him on like a one-year $5.2 million deal, way cheaper than $21 million. Also bringing in Terrell Burgess at free safety. He's 25 years old, 76 overall scheme fit with star dev. And then at defensive end, I'm getting Romeo Aquara. He's only 75 overall with normal dev. I did try to get Nick Bosa and I tried to get Rashawn Gary, but they both turned me down. Here in the first round of the draft, we have pick number eight since we did so bad. I'm going to draft this linebacker, Tavares Cohen. Says that he's ranked number 52 on prospects, but I have him 100% scouted. He's a true first round talent. I think when it says round one, that means that they're supposed to be like a top 10. I don't know that for sure, but I've heard people say that. But anyways, he's from UCF. He's 6'3", 245 pounds. He's an outside linebacker, but I'm going to move him to middle linebacker. He's 21 years old, and he has great acceleration, elite change of direction, elite speed, and good strength. He has A tackle, A pursuit, A play wreck, A catch and B hit power, B block shed. He's got hit and dead with 86 speed. That's our new middle linebacker right there, ladies and gentlemen. Here in the second round, I'm going to draft this strong safety Derek Walden from Ohio State. He's a hybrid scheme fit, 5'11", 215 pounds. Only got him 75% scouted. Wish I could get him 100% scouted, but I like what I see. He has great speed. He has good strength and good jumping. He, he runs the second fastest 40 in the college pro day. Fastest 40 in the NFL combine. He for sure has B man coverage and C zone coverage, B hit power, and B play wreck. He's got hit and dead with 92 speed. Nice. Here in the third round, I'm going to draft this outside linebacker, Daniel Carnegie from Wisconsin. He's 6'1", 222 pounds. He's a pass coverage scheme fit, which is a linebacker that we have not had so far on this defense. This is a pass coverage scheme fit. Uh, got him 100% scouted. His true talent is second to third round. It's in the third round, so why not uh, take him right now? 21 years old, and look, he's a hell of an athlete. He has elite acceleration, elite agility, great change of direction, elite jumping, and elite speed. He's got hit and dead with 87 speed. Fourth round, I'm going to take a chance on this defensive tackle, Alonzo Wiley from Nevada. He's 6'3", 297 pounds, power rush scheme fit. We don't necessarily need a defensive tackle, but he could be a good backup for us. He's 21 years old. He has great speed and he has solid strength, solid jump, and solid change of direction. No more dead with 85 strength, 75 speed. Here in the fourth round, still we have another fourth round pick. I'm going to draft this tight end, Conrad Wall from USF. He's 6'4", 264 pounds, possession scheme fit. I know we just drafted a tight end last year in the first round, but he looks like he has the potential to be pretty good, so I'm not going to pass it up in the fourth round. 22 years old. He has great agility, good change of direction with good speed and good strength. He's got normal dev with only 80 speed. 
Draft recap, the first round pick linebacker is a 75 overall. We did see that he has hit and dev. He'll be getting moved to middle linebacker, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So after being moved to middle linebacker, he drops down to a 74, but that's what his position is going to be. Strong safety I drafted in the second round is a 74 overall. Nice to see, and he has hit and dev. Then outside linebacker Carnegie that we drafted in the third round, 71 overall. He did have hit and dev as well. I let the computer draft the rest of the guys after we got done with our fourth pick over here. They drafted his defensive end in the sixth round, Charles Wheeler. He's a 71 overall and he does have hit and dev. Nice. Checking out the entire NFL draft recap, the number one pick was a 74 overall uh, left tackle that the Bears drafted. Highest in the entire class is an 80 overall defensive tackle that went to the Colts and an 80 overall uh, cornerback that went to the Saints. This is what the team is looking like for the start of season three. Mike White is a 71 with normal death still. Brees Hall is a 84, Wilson's a 84, Moore is a 81, and then Alonzo is a 79. The offensive line is looking pretty good. Oliver is a 79 at tight end with star dev. Defensively, we're gonna have a few rookies starting. I'm gonna go ahead and make Cohen the starter at middle linebacker and just trade away CJ Mosley. We got Carnegie starting at left outside linebacker with hidden dev. I'm gonna end up starting Willer at defensive end over Aquara since Aquara is like 29 years old and it's only gonna get worse. And then we have the safety that we drafted. I think I'm gonna move him. What should we do with him? I want Micah Hyde to start. But Burgess is young, so he'll, next year, Burgess and Walden will be the ones starting. I don't know, I might just have to move on from Micah Hyde. I'm going to figure that out in a minute. Defensive line, we got Quentin Williams, Franklin Myers, Johnson. We got Reed at corner. Sauce Gardner's up to 89 with Superstar. Landry has Superstar Dev. And then Hall's at 80 overall at cornerback three. Willing to give me a second round draft pick for middle linebacker CJ Mosley and strong safety Micah Hyde. I'm going to move on from him since he's older and he's on a one year deal. Defense, we have four rookies starting. Walden's going to be starting at strong safety since we traded Hyde. Cohen's starting at middle linebacker since we traded CJ Mosley. Burgess, I just signed him to like a three or four year deal. He's only 25 years old. He has star dev, so he has a lot of room to develop. That's why I decided to stick with him and trade Micah Hyde. At the midseason point, we're three and four, so we're not off to the best start. The Bills are five and two, the Dolphins are four and three, and the Patriots are one and six. See what players we have to negotiate with here. We got 141 million in cap space. DJ Reed, 27 years old, definitely want to try to bring him back. He wants three years, 26 mil. Let's bump him up to a four-year deal. So he can find a better team in free agency. Makai back then, 25 years old, he has superstar dev, definitely bringing him back. Bump him up to a five-year deal. He's coming back. Elijah Moore, 81 overall, star dev. I'm going to wait till the end of the season and see how things go with him. Lakin Tomlinson's 32 years old and wait till the end of the year. He's probably going to start regressing. Michael Carter, four years, 12 mil for backup running back. That's a scheme fit. I'll go ahead and do it. I know he only has no more dev, but he's up to 80 overall. He wants more years. All right. Kicker Tyler Bass. Yeah, I'll go ahead and try to offer him a deal. He wants more as well. Everyone wants more all the time, forever. Connor McGovern, probably gonna move on from him. End of the regular season, we finished six and 11, so another bad year. So yeah, Mike White's not working out so great, but I mean, it is what it is. It's a rebuild we're doing for him. Obviously, in Madden in real life, if he does good this year, they're gonna be boosting him up. We had the 31st ranked offense, so dang near dead last. 21st on defense. Mike White had a terrible season again, 3,600 yards, 26 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, 62% completion with the 89 rating. Let's see where that stacks up with the rest of his season so far. 89 rating, 89.2 is going to be the second best season that he's had so far. So I guess he's making progress, you could say, technically. <laughs> Brees Hall had a great season, 1,200 yards, 4.7 per carry with 14 touchdowns. Michael Carter, 355 yards, 4.7 per carry with six touchdowns. Garrett Wilson led the team in yards with 800 at receiving six touchdowns. Tight end Oliver had 700 yards with eight touchdowns. Moore had 600 with six touchdowns. Alonzo, 600 with four touchdowns. Brees Hall, 64 catches, almost 600 yards with one touchdown. Jamie and Sherwood led the team in tackles with 97. Walden had 97 as a rookie safety. Where's our middle linebacker at? He had 79 tackles. TFLs, Landry had 17. Williams had 17. Franklin Myers had 16. Was that 16 or 15? My bad. 
sacks. Landry had nine and a half. Franklin Myers had six. Williams had five and a half. Aquara had three and a half. Johnson had two and a half. The rookie defensive end only got one sack. Guess the the depth chart kept messing with it. Jamie and Sherwood had two interceptions. DJ Reed had two. The rookie linebacker Carnegie had one. Carter had one. Hall had one. Gardner had one. And Burgess had one. Bears beat the Vikings in the Super Bowl 35 to 10 to win their fourth Super Bowl. Max Crosby won Super Bowl MVP with the Raiders. Dan Garland won MVP of the regular season with the Texans. That's a computer generated quarterback. Zach Taylor won Coach of the Year with the Bengals. Jonathan Taylor won Offensive Player of the Year with the Colts. Miles Garrett won Defensive Player of the Year with the Browns. Dan Garland won Offensive Rookie of the Year also with the Texans, so a rookie won MVP. Crazy. Decided to come and check out that rookie quarterback for the Texans that won Offensive Rookie of the Year and MVP. He had the third most passing yards and he also led the entire NFL in passing touchdowns with 45. Had an insane year. Alright, well I've already done three seasons now and I've been trying to get Mike White to develop like organically. But at this point he's 30 years old, he's playing down to a 68 overall. So in order to make the last couple years interesting, I'm going to go ahead and boost him up. I'm going to go ahead and move him up to an 80 overall and also give him star dev. Alright, I went ahead and made the changes and you can see now that he's an 80 overall field general scheme fit and he has star dev and he has a negative uh, one morale dra dragging him down to a 79 overall. We have $138 million in cap space. I want to try to bring DJ Reed back again. We already offered him a deal four years. He turned it down. Alright, we're going to offer him the same four year deal and see what he says. He's coming back. He's happy now. I don't know what the difference is, but alright. Elijah Moore probably going to move on from him. Lakin Tomlinson, um, only wants one year, six mil. I guess we'll go ahead and resign him. He's coming back. Michael Carter offered him a, a deal, but he turned it down. Let me offer him another same year, four year deal and see what he says. Now he's happy to come back. The heck. All right, well, I changed my mind, and I guess I'll go ahead and resign Elijah Moore. He's still only 25 years old, 82 overall star dev. He wants three years, 25.5 mil. Offer that to him. If he signs, then cool. Yeah, now he wants to come back. All right. Tyler Bass, kicker, try to find someone better. The center, McGovern, he's down to a 76. I'm going to move on from him. I think that's going to be it. What the team is looking like before free agency, we do have Mike White up to 80 overall with star dev. I think we're good at wide receiver all around. Offensive line is looking pretty good. We can roll with Pyramid at center if we need to. We drafted him in the first year. Defensively, we don't know what we didn't know what any of the dev traits were for these guys, but I see a lot of X factors now. Quentin Williams is up to X Factor. Harold Landry is up to X Factor. Cohen is at uh, star dev, but look at the safety is up to X Factor. Freaking great. What the heck? That's what I'm talking about. Let's check out his progression history. He got a development trait increase the superstar X factor for some reason during the staff week. I don't understand. I mean, I'm glad that I, that it happened, but they don't ever really explain like why. They just throw it out there. And then who else had X factor? This defensive end has X factor. What the heck? <laughs> Let's look at his progression history too. He just had it. He doesn't have anything that says that he boosted up to it. So. He just had it. All right, well, we'll take it. So obviously, Willer is going to be starting that right in over Aquara. Definitely probably just going to go ahead and release Aquara to get him off the team because he should have been... Willer should have been starting last season, but the computer kept on making Aquara the starter. I hate that crap that the computer messes with the depth chart. So on offense, we don't really need anything. And on defense, we really don't need anything here either. So we'll see what happens. That I did in free agency was sign the best kicker and punter available. I know we drafted, uh, I think it was a punter at one time that had hidden dev, but he only has normal dev now and he's only like a 72 overall. So we're going to release him and move on with some new guys. Here in the first round, we have a number five pick in the draft since we were so bad last year again. I'm going to draft this cornerback, Alex Hood from Texas A&M. He is a true top five talent. I have 100% scouted. The only other guy that I'm uh, worried about getting in the draft. This guy is projected to be a third to fourth rounder, but I have him 100% scouted too in his true first round talent. But right now we're going to draft Alex Hood from Texas A&M. He's 21 years old. He has elite jumping with great speed and great strength, good change of direction. 
He has B-man coverage and his zone coverage is C. He's got hit and dead with 94 speed. The second round pick number five again. That cornerback is still here. The other one I want to get, Dion Green from Michigan. He's 6'4", 203 pounds. Like I said, he's projected to go third or fourth round, but he's a true first round talent. He is 23 years old. He has great speed with good jumping, solid change of direction with great acceleration. He has B-man coverage with C-zone coverage. He has hit and dev also, nice. 94 speed. Another second round pick here. I'm gonna draft this right tackle, Dwight Searcy. Searcy from LSU. He's 6'4", 307 pounds. He is agile, scheme fit. It's good enough, maybe we can make him the starter at center. He's 21 years old. He has great acceleration, great agility, great change of direction, easy jumping with great speed and good strength. He only has normal dead, but he'll probably be a high overall, maybe like 75. Here in the third round, I'm going to draft this linebacker, Steven James. He's a pass coverage scheme fit from Florida, 6'229 pounds. I know we just drafted one last year, but he still only has normal dev. Maybe we'll get lucky and this guy will have hidden dev. He's 21 years old. He has great acceleration, elite agility, elite change of direction with great speed. Normal dev, 85 speed. Checking out the draft recap, the cornerback I drafted in the first round is a 76 overall, and we saw that he has hidden dev. He's 21 years old from Texas A&M, and then the cornerback I drafted in the second round, he's 75 overall, so it was a really good pickup right there. 23 years old, he has hidden dev also. The, he was a right tackle I drafted, I'd already moved him to center. He's a 73 overall, he only has normal dev, so he'll probably just be a backup. And then that linebacker I drafted was a 71 overall with normal dev. I'll let the computer draft the rest of these guys. Let's check out the entire draft recap here. Number one pick was a 70 quarterback by the Patriots. <laughs> that sucks for them, man. Highest in the draft was 82 overall running back that went to the Buccaneers. And then it drops down to 76 after that. There's a lot of 76s in here. This is what the team is looking like for the start of season four. I'm very interested to see how this season goes since we bumped up Mike White to 80 overall with star dev. Hall's up to 87 with star. Wilson's at 85. Moore's at 82. Alonzo's at 81. Dolphins and Lions still looking pretty good. The tight end Oliver is hovering around the 80. Defensively, we got four X factors on here starting. This looks freaking insane. <laughs> Uh, we got Gardner's at 90 with Superstar Dev, and I know we just re-signed Hall to a big deal, and he's 81 overall with Star Dev. We re-signed Reed. I think I'm going to go ahead and just trade Hall away to make sure that Hood gets some playing time here and see what type of Dev trait that he has. The Tennessee Titans were willing to give me a second round pick for the cornerback Hall, so I'm going to go ahead and take that, obviously. Here at the midseason point, we are 2-5, and five, not off to a good start once again. The Bills are 5-1, and one, the Patriots are 3-3, three and three, and the Dolphins are 3-4. and four. Check out players ready to negotiate. We got $125 million in cap space. Brees Hall is 88 overall. Yeah, we have a few guys we need to bring back here. So Brees Hall is 24 years old. We're going to offer him a 5-year deal for $30 mil. Now we're going to offer him more. Let's go to a seven year deal since he's not interested. That's exactly the offer that he wanted. John Franklin Myers definitely want to bring him back. He wants two years, 27 mil. Bump him up to a three year deal. He wants more. Elijah Bear Tucker, 26 years old. He's 85 overall scheme fit. Definitely want to bring him back. He's coming back. Mike White, 30 years old, definitely want to bring him back. He wants three years, 85 million. Wow, dude's out here not doing so great. And he's like, I want all the money. He wants even more, this guy. Burgess, 26 year old, free safety. He's only a 79 overall. I think I'm gonna wait on him. End of the regular season and we finished nine and eight and we actually won the division somehow. I don't know how, but I'm glad that we did. The Bills went nine and eight, the Dolphins went eight and nine, and the Patriots went seven and 10. Let's check out the season stats and see what happened. 28th ranked offense, so the offense is still terrible. Defensively, 11th. The defense actually carried us, it seems. Mike White threw for 3,900 yards, 32 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 64% completion with a 102 rating. By far his best season yet, and that's actually a pretty good season. Russian Brees Hall had 344 carries. Dang. 1,400 yards, 4.1 per carry with 16 touchdowns. 
Uh, Alonzo led the team in receiving yards with 879 and 10 touchdowns. Brees Hall had 75 catches for 875 yards and 7 touchdowns. Wow. Panthers offense was going through him for real. Elijah Moore, 800 yards receiving with 5 touchdowns. Wilson had 700 with 6 touchdowns. And the tight end Oliver had 500 yards with 5 touchdowns. Defensively, Carnegie led the team in tackles again with 110. Cohen had 90. Quentin Williams had 15 TFLs. Franklin Myers had 12. Franklin Myers had 9.5 sacks. Landry had 9. Williams had seven, Wheeler had two, and Johnson only had one and a half. Sauce Gardner had eight interceptions. Dang, it's probably going to be the most in the entire NFL, if I had to guess. Carnegie had three interceptions, Reed had three, Burgess had two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys had one. Nice. Decided to look at the NFL leaders and in interceptions, and yeah, Sauce Gardner led the entire NFL. He had two more than the second place guy, McDuffie, who had six. We're gonna be playing against the 10 and 7 Tennessee Titans in the wild card round of the playoffs. We also have the Bengals against the Browns, the Chiefs against the Raiders, and then the Colts had a first round bye week. Gonna simulate this playoff game and see if we can get us a win and make it to the next round or not. And we lost 17 to 14. Sucks that we lost. We barely lost, but we did lose. The Seahawks beat the Titans in the Super Bowl 27 to 20 to win their second ever Super Bowl. Nathan Miles, middle linebacker, won Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen won MVP of the regular season with the Bills. Zach Taylor won Coach of the Year with the Bengals. Jonathan Taylor won Offensive Player of the Year with the Colts. Nick Bosa won Defensive Player of the Year with the Broncos. Lakin Tomlinson retired after 11 years. We have $131 million in cap space. John Franklin Myers, we still need to try to get him back. Let's bump him up to a four-year deal and see what he says. He wants to go to free agency. This guy, how much does it cost to franchise tag him? 22 million will do it. We got a crap ton of money. Mike White, he wants a one year deal for 25 million. So he went down on what he wanted. I'm glad that he didn't sign down. Let's offer him a two year deal and see what he says. He's coming back. Burgess at free safety. He's only normal dev now. Jermaine Johnson at defensive end. He's interested in re-signing. I guess we'll go ahead and bring him back. Two years for 16 mil is not that bad. He wants to go to free agency. All right. He doesn't really get a lot of playing time as far as rushing the passer because there's other guys that are higher overall than him that come in for that third down uh, pass rush specialist. I think that's going to be it. Josh Rosen is still in Madden. matter. Wow. This is what the team is looking like before free agency. Mike White stayed at a 79, and yeah, star dev. Brees Hall jumped up to superstar dev. He definitely deserved that with that amazing season that he just had. We do need a left guard, and we could potentially use a center. Everything else is looking good on offense. Defensively, we need another defensive end since we lost Johnson. And well, Gardner jumped up to X Factor. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This rookie had a star dev, and the other rookie had super star dev. Nice. Carnegie jumped up to star, star dev. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so yeah, we need a free safety and a defensive end. That's pretty much all that we need, and a left guard. For you can see, I'm bringing in Jabril Peppers at free safety. He's an 83 overall star dev. Bringing in Zion Johnson to play left guard for us. He's 78 overall scheme fit star dev, 26 years old. And I'm also getting Jermaine Johnson back in free agency, the defensive end. Here in the first round, we have pick 21 since we made it to the playoffs. I'm going to draft this right tackle. He's the only guy that I have 100% scouted that is actually a true first round talent. We need another offensive lineman. I know he's not a scheme fit since he's a pass protector, but we're going to draft the guy that we know for sure is good. He's 22 years old, 6 foot 6, 314 pounds. He has elite agility, great change of direction, good jumping, good speed. Hidden Dev with 86 strength. Welcome to the team. Later the rest of the picks since it's the last year of the rebuild and the right tackle we drafted is a 74 overall. We saw that he had Hidden Dev. Computer drafted this free safety. He was a 74 overall, but he only has normal Dev. See what the rest of the NFL draft recap is looking like. This right tackle, I had him 100% scouted and it said that his true talent was second to third rounder. He was projected to be a top five guy. And he only has no more devs, so yeah, the Cardinals got screwed on that pick. <laughs> Guess they don't know how to scout. Best player in the entire draft was a 77 overall strong safety drafted in the second round by the Baltimore Ravens.
Team is looking like for the fifth and final season, Mike White is a 79 with star dev. Brees Hall is up to superstar with 90 overall. Uh, Garrett Wilson's 86 with star. Lonzo is 83 with star. And then Moore is 83 with star. The offensive line is looking pretty good. I'm just going to roll with Pyramid at center since he's a 78 and he's a scheme fit. Nixon's a 75 and he's not even a scheme fit. So Oliver is 81 with star dev at tight end. Defensively, we got four, you know, five X factors on the team. We got Sauce Gardner too, but he's injured right now for one week. Quentin Williams a 96 X factor. Willard's a 80 X factor. Landry's a 86 X factor, and Walden's a 82 X factor. We brought in Jabril Peppers at free safety, playing up to 85 with star dev. Good thing that we got Green and Hood at cornerback since Gardner's out. Well, I guess he's only out for one week, so it doesn't matter. But yo, uh, this is the last season of the rebuild, so hopefully we can make it to the playoffs and potentially make it to the Super Bowl. The midseason point, we're 5-1, and one, off to the best start yet in the rebuild, and the uh, Bills are 4-2, and two, the Patriots are 2-4, and four, the Dolphins are 2-5, and five, simulating to the playoffs to see if we make it. End of the regular season, we finished 10-7, and seven, but we got robbed of the playoffs. We did not make it in. The Bills went 11-6, and six, the Dolphins went 10-7, and seven, and the Patriots went 7-10. and 10. Check out the season stats over here. Offensive yards, 30th in the NFL. Terrible. Defensively, 12th. Mike White threw for 3,900 yards, 27 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 62% completion with a 95 rating. I mean, that's not a bad season, but it's not great. Rushing yards, Brees Hall only played in 10 games. He had 1,000 yards, 5.4 per carry with 10 touchdowns. That's a high average yards per carry, 5.4. Michael Carter had 600 yards, 3.6, which is not great. Eight touchdowns, though. James Alonzo led the team in receiving yards with 997, had nine touchdowns. Moore had 600 yards, three touchdowns. Wilson, 600 yards, three touchdowns. Tight end had 500 yards, five touchdowns. Brees Hall, in his 10 games, had 39 catches, 400 yards, two touchdowns. Michael Carter, 40 catches, 300 yards, two touchdowns. Cohen led the team in tackles with 126. TFLs, Franklin Myers had 22, Willer had 17, Landry had 16, and Williams had 15. Franklin Myers led the team in sacks with 14 from the defensive tackle spot. Landry had 6.5, Willer had 6, and Williams had 6. Carnegie had 3 interceptions along with Gardner, Reed, and Peppers. Deion Green had 2 interceptions. Landry had 1 along with Walden, Cohen, and Hood. Buccaneers beat the Bengals in the Super Bowl 31-14 to to win their third ever Super Bowl and Colin Stroud, their quarterback, won Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen won MVP of the regular season with the Bills again. Zach Taylor won Coach of the Year with the Bengals again. Cooper Cup won Offensive Player of the Year with the Rams. Aaron Donald won Defensive Player of the Year with the Rams as well. Mike White finished 77 overall with star dev. What do y'all think about him in real life? I think that he's actually a pretty good quarterback, and he's proven that when he's in there playing, especially this past week, he just uh, won the game. He threw three touchdown passes. He looked a lot better than Zach Wilson, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. In this franchise that we, did, that we did, he had an 89 rating, and then he had a 102 rating, so that year was definitely his best year at quarterback. Threw 3,900 yards, 32 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. I mean, he didn't do terrible in here. Once we bumped him up to a 90 overall, he did decent. We probably should have done that to the beginning. I mean, not a 90 overall. We bumped him up to an 80 overall star to Probably would have done better. Even like this year, whenever we had him in the Bengals offense, he probably would have had closer to a 95 or even a 100 rating passing. But it is what it is. We made it to the playoffs one time. Built a pretty good team around him. Defensively, I never had this many X factors on the defense at the same time freaking ridiculous we have five of them over here <laughs> sauce gardner's up to a 95 x factor johnson lost his star dev he's down to number dev that's gonna be it for the video if y'all like what y'all saw please subscribe to the channel like the video say something down in the comments do y'all think that mike white is legit or is he just a little phase that he's going through where he's like having uh, some tebow time hype over here appreciate everyone for watching i'll see y'all on the next one peace